I want you to manifest, and you, that's a word that you use a lot, and I want you to, who is Mr. Right for you? Like, <laughs> what, what are the, what are, give me three qualities that he has to have. You know. And also give me two non-negotiables that you're not going for. Well, I have one of the qualities and one of the non-negotiables right off the top. First quality, God-fearing. Mm -hmm. He has to have a relationship with God. Right. That's the foundation. Like, we went back to accountability, that I can hold you accountable to that, hold myself accountable to that. You say you're a woman of God. Okay, right. you need to walk like this. Um, non-negotiable is cheating. I have not been married. I have not ever walked down the aisle. I don't know what I would do if my husband cheated on me. I haven't got there yet. But in the dating boyfriend-girlfriend phase, if you cheat on me and I am your girlfriend, that's a non-negotiable. I'm going to walk away. But I will then say, too, for rebuttals on both of those. Okay. You know who the fuck you're dealing with prior to him ever cheating. But, but then... You're going to see that. Yes, red flags, but let, let's go back to the, the communication. Hopefully, I'm meeting a guy that lets me know up front, I cannot be monogamous and I cannot commit to you. Hopefully, we, we don't get to the cheating, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we're not getting there. I'm, I'm publicly saying this. Mm -hmm. I am okay with having these conversations with men. Right. You can tell me, sweetie, if you do not want to commit, you do not have to commit. Right. There is not a gun to your head saying you have to be my boyfriend. You said you were going to be monogamous. I didn't make you say mm -hmm. that. So if you say that out of your mouth as a man, that is what I expect. But in that situation, though, when is that conversation going to ever happen? Because you're not talking about that on the first date. Not the first date, but I, if with my ex. Mm -hmm. When he asked me to be his girlfriend, the first thing I said to him was, absolutely, if you cheat on me, I will not stay. Okay, so then I then will have a rebuttal to that. <laughs> Before I get to my rebuttal then, I would also ask this. Is it, what religion? What, well, I'm more, I'm Christian. I'm Christian. Right. I'm more spiritual. I don't just go okay. to church and practice religion. Could you date a Muslim? I think I could. Could you date a person I'm, oh, that's I'm Hindu? Open. I, I don't know that, that religion, that beliefs, but I'm open to dating somebody that is not Christian, yes. Right, okay. Yes, that's my, I am that's open my point. to that. Okay. I'm open to having that conversation. Correct. I'm not going to shun that just because they're not Christian. Right. Yes. So then my next thing would be, you got a 85% good man. He has a job. If he were to have some kids, he mm -hmm. takes, mm -hmm. takes care of his kids. He's the breadwinner in mm -hmm. his family. Mm -hmm. He has the discipline to mm -hmm. be able to hold you accountable and put you up on some new shit. Okay. But that 15% is a big chunk that he battles with infidelity. Are you willing to be with a person to see him through that issue? After marriage or are you talking about dating? No, dating. Absolutely. So, no, I'm not. So that's, what if you got that, a 90% good guy? I'm not. We need to be friends then until you can work this out. We need to be friends. Mm -hmm. You telling me the truth, we need to be friends. If you want help through that, let me help you as a friend. Right. I do not want to be sleeping with you. I want monogamy. Right. I don't want to sleep with you and right. I have no idea what you're doing outside of this relationship. Of course. So I'm op I, I love the truth, let's have the truth. Great, now that we're here, we should be friends. We should right. have a platonic relationship and if that's something you want to work through, let me help you work through that. Let me support you as a friend, right. but I'm not gonna support you as a girlfriend. Right. Now after marriage, we have that I don't, I don't know. I'm not condoning cheating in a marriage, but I've never been to that point right. yet. And, and let's, let's be honest. I'm not condoning cheating either. I'm just, for the Got sake you. of this Got, discussion. No, for sure. I love I'm, it. I'm I love it. And it's making me think because Correct. these are situations I honestly have never been in. And I'm saying this now. You really don't know until you get to that point. Correct. But me right now, um, and, you know, proof of what I've done in the past, my ex, I, I loved him to death. <laughs> I haven't talked to him since the day I found out he was cheating on me. That was a year ago. So mm -hmm. when I found out, ladies, if you have a non-negotiable and when it happens, you negotiate, it's not a non-negotiable. Yeah, but I'm saying this, though, too. So then it's not a non-negotiable, then? It is. We're, we're negotiating, though. No, yeah, I'm just bringing certain things right? up. Yeah. Right? But, but I'm just trying to bring out a, a, okay, a fact okay, that... Okay, okay, okay. I just want to give you a different way of looking at something. Absolutely. Things. Not accepting cheating. No, I'm not saying by no with means. you, I'm saying with the person. Right. But I'm saying you have such a good person, a figure in your life that can make you better, right? And only thing that he's asking from you is to say, listen, baby, be patient with me. And I don't think then a lot of women. You don't need to be in a relationship. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> a lot of women. <laughs> a lot of women don't acknowledge, okay, this is what I'm getting into, and all right, that's an issue. 
I'm going to tell you how it makes me feel. I'm giving you everything that I possibly can to you, mm. man. And when you go outside of our relationship to find pleasure, it makes me feel a certain type of way. A lot of men don't know that or have had somebody to teach and tell them yeah. that. But that's what I said I would do. So that's all I'm saying. Platonically. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm like, listen, if we're building something, right, and... It's like it's getting to the point where it's like we get we're taking each other serious because every yeah, every yeah, yeah. every dating cycle happens off of man this motherfucker cool as shit hey what you doing Netflix and chill starts off with a curfew and then all of a sudden it ain't no curfew no more yeah you dig what I'm saying so with that being said I think a lot of situations can be avoided from splitting by the patience of communication, by understanding like, man, listen, what is the deep rooted issue? Maybe that man who's trying to find pleasure in other women, he has an issue with his mom. So here's my question for you. Why not heal that in, in your single phase before mm -hmm. becoming, coming to a committed relationship? Right. So if you know you have those issues as a man, why am I not solely working on that before I bring it into a relationship? Right. I'm asking. Why wouldn't he? Yes, oh. why wouldn't he? But why, why? I need help. So let me help you as a friend. Right, okay. I don't need to help you as your lover. Okay. Let's, let me be, be your friend mm -hmm. and platonic, you work on that, become whole, mm -hmm. and then when you're ready to commit and be in a relationship, we can revisit. Right. Because I don't think men are willing to do that for women. I don't mm. think a, I don't think a woman could come to a man. That's a good point. In a, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship and point. say, I'm a great woman. I do all these great things. I have my own car, my own job. I, I, I don't need I your clean. money. I don't need your money. I cook, clean. I keep myself up. But I love you for you, but I, love you for I you, can't, but stop, I, fucking I can't stop fucking other guys. Other men may accept that. I, I, I have never heard of a situation where a man has or would. That wants to be in a monogamous relationship. Because I hear a lot about men wanting women to be patient with them, mm -hmm. but I don't hear it the other way around. Mm. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it through this lens, right? When you get to a point where you're talking about partnerships, you have to be what that other person lacks or, or you have to be what that person needs you to be. You know what I'm saying? The women doing the same thing as a man to find the thrill is different. Because you may, I may say, always say it's selfish. I knew he was gonna say that. It's selfish to say, <laughs> and I'm admitting that it is selfish <laughs> to say, you know what, babe, I wanna go out, step outside, I just wanna fuck these hoes, but you gotta stay home, I'm gonna come back to you. But then when a woman does it, it's just like, bitch, you ain't shit, what the fuck? How the fuck could you do this shit, da 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 we're wired differently. But I'm gonna ask you as the as as the um, as the person who's married, what's more likely for you to hear? A man with multiple wives or a wife with multiple husbands? You're gonna hear men with multiple wives because it's socially accepted more. It's socially accepted. Mm. But what about in past times? I, I same. I think it was more socially accepted for a man to have multiple wives than a woman to have. Wasn't that in the, new, the Old Testament? Yeah, I mean, I think that. What's I, the difference? Oh, not different testament. We're going biblical. Um, we can. I don't really know my my verses like I that, do. so don't. <laughs> she do too. If y'all want to have a have a war, I do. I don't want to have a war. <laughs> um, I, I don't. What's the, what's your I know Genesis one and one. That's it. <laughs> in the beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> right. I be, I believe that in our religion. Mm -hmm. It has got lost in translation, and I, and I warrant what I'm about to say. People say, oh, that's in the Old Testament, this is the New Testament, mm -hmm. and things like that. There are some high-valued men in the Bible that had a lot of favor from God mm -hmm. by having multiple wives mm -hmm. and multiple concubines. Mm -hmm. So you can't sit up here and say you want a man of God and not acknowledge the fact that, oh, in this society is socially accepted, but in the Bible, when you talk about David, Mm -hmm. When you talk about Solomon, the mm -hmm. most wi the wisest person in all of earth, mm -hmm. he had the most wives anybody has ever had mm -hmm. and concubines. Mm -hmm. And David, when David was in battle, mm -hmm. he would go back to not only to save his wives, but to go back and protect his concubines. Mm -hmm. And then we find a way in a situation where we talk about relationships in this day and time and not knowing the realization that the Bible has always been a place where everybody wasn't always married to one wife. Mm -hmm. 
hell, I think a lot of people have to understand this too. Everybody in the Bible wasn't even married. Mm -hmm. I don't think everybody should be married. I don't think that's everybody's purpose or calling. I think we're talking about specifically with men who say, so for me, if you say that you want monogamy, so if you're saying you want a committed relationship, but also if you are a husband, mm -hmm. right? I don't care what your value is. If you are a husband, the Bible says what? Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. What did Christ you do said for singular or plural? Because I, I think he was talking to multiple husbands. Mm -hmm. I think he was saying men. My thing. Not my, man. He didn't right, say man, love right. your wives. He said men, love your, your wife as Christ loved the church. So right. what did Christ do for the church? He died mm -hmm. for us. So if you say you love me mm -hmm. and you are my husband, then you should be willing to die for me, mm -hmm. right? As Christ did for, you can't do that with multiple wives. Right. So, because you can't die for me you and, can't her, die for and her. Oh, but listen, Jesus. Though, no, I'm, I'm just saying. Her, Come on, and, and, I'm, I'm just saying. You to, can't and, die for me right. and so her. So if you die for her. wife number one, but then what's wife I, number listen, two gonna do? Ooh, I'm here Jesus. for it. I'm here for it. Hold on, because, Cam. You hear no, what she just oh, said? But okay, that's I'm a sorry. Fact. I'm just saying. That's a fact, and you serve it. That was a good one. But I'm telling you this though. I'm telling you this. Because if I'm wife number two, I'm fucked. For I'm fucked. For for the why, I mean, Ooh, for Jesus. the Bible to be so direct, right? Mm -hmm. I've always stood on this principle. Not to say that I believe in cheating. Not to say I believe in uh, polygamy relationships. Not to say all that. I'm saying this just for the sake of conversation. Mm -hmm. It never said one wife. For it to be so specific, it said a wife, right? You can be a wife. You also can be a wife. To the same man, right? You Is that what you're saying? A, yes. Okay. You can be a wife. And in other religions, when we talk about Mormons, mm -hmm. when we talk about Muslims, when we talk about Christians, when we talk about Buddhists, when we talk about people on other religions, the common denominator in this, we all have a due diligence to say, do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. In some way, shape, or mm -hmm. yeah. doesn't matter. I don't really believe in that, though. But but that, that the, my yeah. point is yeah. this. Yeah, so it's just like, I don't want that. When you, <laughs> like, talk, about, when you talk about the different, <laughs> the different beliefs and religions, mm -hmm. Muslims are able to have multiple wives. Mm -hmm. Do you want multiple wives, Cam? No, I do not. Just get it out. And please, and please don't hear my rebuttal or No, my I think arguments. it's great for the sake of conversation. Just for yeah. conversation. But I'm saying, I'm saying if I'm basing it off of my foundation, if my foundation is Christian, I'm just coming from that. Mm -hmm. I cannot speak for other religions. I cannot speak for other traditions. All I can speak the Quran. for... Yeah, yeah, I can't. I'm in the All Bible. I can speak for is for like my faith and, and where I am. Right. And if my word says, husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church, then you cannot die for multiple women. That, that is just, I, I, I don't see how that is feasible. Mm -hmm. I don't see how it's feasible for, and, and, and to further that point, then it says, women, honor your husband. Do you know what I mean? But yes. that has to come, but the man loving you has to come first. Right. When, when God came into the Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve just ate the apple and convinced Adam to eat it or however, mm. God came into the, into the Garden of Eden and asked Adam, what did you do? Even though he's the God who is all knowing, right. knew what Eve was gonna do before she did it, he asked Adam, right. what did you do? He held the man accountable. Mm -hmm. So our relation, for the word, mm -hmm. right, if we're basing it off of that, it is a man's responsibility to carry the weight of the relationship. Absolutely. Wow. It is on you. Right. You are going to have to be, you're going to have to answer to God about the relationship. Right.